Hey Scorpio, welcome to Share Extensions. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be uh, your general weekly reading. Any information you all need, you can find it within the description box down below. Um, I do apologize about the echo. I still have not gotten that fixed, but I have my sound panels. They just are not put up yet. It will be fixed soon. I know the echo has been awful. But anyway, Scorpio, I have personals open right now if you all are interested, okay? Um, you could also follow me on Facebook and Instagram if you'd like. And I do have a Patreon page where I offer exclusive content for each sign. So if you all want to check that out, that information is down below as well. So, Scorpio. Um, your overall energy is the Seven of Wands. I immediately feel a blockage, okay? So this could be you blocking something out. This could be like an obstacle that you're facing here. It doesn't have to be a huge deal, all right? So I just want to go ahead and throw that out there. But you do have two sevens. So I feel like you're in a space where you're trying to figure out the truth. And that doesn't necessarily mean that a truth is being hidden from you. It could mean that. But I feel like you're mostly trying to figure out the truth within yourself. You might be feeling blocked in a sense or just not feeling like you know what you want or where you want to go next, you know, what you want the next chapter to look like. Um, I definitely see you reflecting on a lot of these things here this week. You have that Four of Swords, which could be you kind of examining, especially with the Seven of Pentacles, like evaluating everything you have and everything you've accomplished so far. And you're trying to figure out what what's next, you know, what's next. That's kind of the energy that I'm picking up on here. For others of you, I do feel like you're trying to find clarity about maybe a person that you're dealing with or about um, how a situation is going to go. I feel as if you're in a situation that's really hard to read. You know, it's really hard to read. You can't really... Um, you're not really sure what to expect of it is how that feels to me. So you're trying to uh, dig around for truth in regards to that. What's going on with this energy right here? The strength card could be someone in a position of power here. Might be a Leo, um, but I feel like you're really trying to read somebody's intentions here. You might be feeling like a lot is held back. At the same time, you might feel like they're forcing a lot. You know, they're a little bit too good or something of that nature here. Give me one more. Could be a new friend. Could be anyone. What else is going on? I also feel like some of you are trying to weigh the pros and cons of a situation here. Trying to figure out if you should hold back something or if you should express. You know, with the Ace of Cups, if you should express something here. Um... Others of you, I think there's something that you've been holding on to and that Ace of Cups is you kind of cleansing your energy of that, okay? Especially with the Four of Swords. That's you choosing to focus on the things that you're grateful for. The Four of Swords is a card of gratitude, okay? And peace, rejuvenation. So I feel like some of you are resting up. Um, some of you, you could be in a space where you're admiring the fruits of your labor. Again, figuring out, you know, just kind of analyzing everything and seeing what you've accomplished so far and what comes next. Some of you are in a space where you're really blocking out negative energies, okay? We have the uh, star card and the five of pentacles coming up next. Uh, you could have some Aquarius in your chart. You may have Mercury and Taurus, but you don't have to, okay? Some of you could be trying to heal your pockets, all right? You could have uh, suffered a really big financial loss or money's just not as good as it has been. What's going on with this? Could be a new opportunity coming in here for some of you. Page of Cups, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Pages can typically represent uh, messengers, all right? So this could be an opportunity, but you're not really sure if you want to take it with the Two of Swords. What's going on with this here? Scorpio, if you have healed from a situation, yeah, if you have healed from a situation with um, a, a water sign or an Aquarius, I feel like the table, tables are turning in a major way here. You have the star and the page of cups, and when I got out the other card, it's the nine of pentacles. This is a card of being independent, single, stable, when it comes to connection, so I definitely feel like you bounced back from something here, and with that two of swords, things flip-flopped, you know, uh, so I definitely feel like the tables have turned here. You could be receiving a message. Um, but I mainly feel as if, you know, you're, um, this is confirmation that, that things have flip-flopped here, that you are on a path to healing, okay?
okay? Others of you, like I said, I feel like this is like financial healing. Um, you do have that Nine of Pentacles here. So you want to be mindful of closing out opportunities. Even if it's not something that you want long term, it could be something that's really good for you right now. That's really good for, you know, a chapter. It could be something like that because the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like this could give you a leg up. So there could be an opportunity here that you may be a little bit closed off to in the beginning. Um, but it could be good for you for right now. All right. Doesn't mean you have to stay there. We have the uh, King of Wands and the Chariot next. Leo energy and Cancerian energy. I feel a little bit of manipulation or a power struggle of some sort. Page of Wands, Fire, Aries, Sag, Leo. What else is going on with this here? What else is going on with this energy here? Six of Wands, yeah. Somebody's been in a, in a position of power here, and I feel like there's like an abuse of this power. What else is going on? King of Wands is a natural born leader, but sometimes the King of Wands, he's so admirable that he can sit back and other people can do the work and he doesn't have to do anything. So I'm not sure if this is in the workplace. I'm not sure if this is in a romantic connection or what this is involving here, but there's somebody who really charms their way out of doing anything that requires actual effort. What else is going on? They're very celebrated, very well liked. And I think you see right through that with the Page of Wands energy, Nine of Cups. Very entitled, they get everything they want, all right? You have the High Priestess here. Yeah, I definitely feel like there's a lot going on behind the scenes with this individual. Why is this coming up? Could be a Pisces or somebody who has Jupiter in Pisces. They're manipulative, and they could be manipulative to people that you're around, all right? But you can really, really read this person, okay? You actually match with them on a, on a strange level, all right? With the, with the high priestess and the hierophant, that's the, the high priest and the high priestess. Um, so I definitely feel like you can read this person. You actually may have a little bit of this person in yourself. You don't actually utilize the ability to like manipulate people around you. Um, but you know, I feel as if you can really read this person and you know exactly what they're doing. This could be in the workplace, could be at school for some. You have a sun card, Leo energy. I feel like that will be exposed. That's going to come out in the open here, Scorpio. You have the Ten of Cups right here as well. Yeah, and this could even be that person that you are connecting with because when the hair font and the high priestess show up, sometimes that can talk about like telepathy, you know, being able to read one another. So maybe you're just angry with this person that you dealt with in love and it's frustrating because they always won. They always got one over on you and not only you, but other people that they dealt with as well. It could have been a... Um, a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And I keep wanting to call you Leo, even though you're Scorpio. But, you know, you have the sun card here and the ten of cups. So, um, you know, I feel like that is going to be exposed. And you are going to have your happiness here. I don't feel like they're going to keep getting one over on you. I actually feel like with the high priestess and the hair font both being here, whatever's been behind the curtain, it is going to play out in the physical, all right? You have the Ace of Swords and the World as well, all right? So Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Fixed Energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. Let's come on with the Ace of Swords and the World. You all, whoever you were dealing with up here, you all might even have felt as if your blessings had been blocked because you were dealing with this person. And I think you were correct in assuming that. Once you stop dealing with this person, they lose their all their power, you know, and you gain all of yours back. So they were definitely leaning on your energy, all right? Ace of Swords of the World. What's going on with that? The Eight of Cups, Saturn and Pisces, the Four of Cups. Give me a couple more here for Scorpio on this energy here. I feel like you all are in a very determined space to defeat something here. Wow, yes. It could definitely be a toxic friend circle or, <laughs> excuse me, guys, just someone in your circle who is toxic, someone you are really connected with. And I mean really connected with, but you're really cutting that energy out. I mean, with the world card and the devil, it's like evil dies here. You know, evil dies here. And I feel like the tables turn in a major way. You walk away from something and then you have the four of cups here. Somebody is left with their own energy. You know, there's no more leeching off of yours. So I definitely feel like that's referring to this, um, 
you know, situation up here, whether that, again, whether that was in the workplace or romantic connection, I feel like you're determined to defeat this energy here and gain your power back. You have the world card, so I see you closing this chapter out, stepping into a new one. So of you, there is a new offer here. This could be an actual, um, offer, you know, to move to another state or to get a new job or some, something that's going to get you away from whoever's in this Three of Cups energy right here, all right? And I think that's where the Eight of Cups comes into play is because you're leaving a situation, okay? You have the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups, Scorpio and Pisces. So let's see what this is. I think somebody's really acting out. So I'm not sure who this is. Somebody's really acting out. What's going on with this energy here? Five of Swords, yeah. You're dealing with a real petty betty here, okay? But they're not going to win. I think they really expected to get one over on you again here. Um, I don't know what they were using you for, or even if it was just for energy, value, like to feel valuable. You're dealing with a real, um, just they're really one of a kind here. It could be a Gemini for some of you, but they're some of you they could be making demands. But I feel like they're really acting out. Seems like there's a little bit of a passive aggressive energy going on here. This could be uh, going on through social media. For other people. I don't feel like they're communicating with you directly. I did see that Six of Swords. Some of you, there could for sure be a physical move or something that gets you out of this person's environment, and they're doing whatever they can to try to get through to you. I think that's why that Seven of Wands could have been your overall energy. You definitely could have blocked them, all right? They're trying to get through to you in other ways. Six of Swords, yeah, because you can move forward here. The Knight of Cups, you're following your dreams, your visions. And again, you just defeated these demons here. You got the Page of Swords. They're, they're trying to watch you in every way they can, trying to message you in every way they can here. This is crazy, Scorpio. I don't know who this demonic energy is. <laughs> very draining, though. Very draining, you know? And I really think you wanted the Ten of Cups with them, but I think that you're realizing that this is over. This isn't something that you could deal with again. We have the Death card on the bottom here. So that's why you're in that Six of Swords space where you're just, there's no looking back, all right? Because it hurts to look back, all right? It hurts to look forward, but at least you know that there's something there looking forward, and it's not this, okay? So that's what I'm feeling here for you guys. I do hope that this was helpful. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually see if I can get anything more for you you anything more for Scorpio any advice any advice for Scorpio yeah protect your energy at all costs I mean you have you have the ten of swords right here I think that if you were dealing with a person who was very in and out every time you let them back in they gained a little bit more power you know off of knowing that they could keep doing this and you have the uh, eight of swords which normally to me isn't that great of a card. It can say that you're a little trapped in your own head and to, you know, shift your perspective in order to set yourself free. But to me, this is all protection, you know, keeping yourself completely away from this person, blinded to anything they have to say, blinded to anything that they have to do, you know, and the four of pentacles also physically away from this person, protecting your energy. Um, and this doesn't mean that you have to isolate from everyone, but definitely nurturing yourself, investing in new things, not in this energy here, okay? No more of that, all right, Scorpio? So that's what I'm seeing here for you all. I do hope that this was helpful. I want to thank you so much for watching and supporting me, and you enjoy your week. Bye.